Hey guys, it's Studio R12 Live with Lena and I'm so excited to be with you today. I'm gonna to be showing you some cool gift wrap techniques, so be sure you stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for staying tuned. Christmas has exploded here at Studio R12 and I'm so excited to check out the background behind me, all the pretty signs. We painted a lot of these in some lives earlier in the year and I'm so happy to see them featured behind me. Um, just to, you know, take a peek back there and get some inspiration for your Christmas decor this year. Also, I wanted to bring something so fun, well that I think is so fun to you guys, that is actually a tradition in my home. Um, so I like to paint my own wrapping paper. <laughs> I started this with my husband a few years ago, even when we were just dating. We started designing our own wrapping paper together and kind of making things pretty out of brown and black paper that we were buying at the dollar store, right? So I'm gonna show you how to take your just plain craft paper, dollar store paper, and using our Studio R12 stencils and brushes and turn it into something magic. So I did a few options here on this box so you could see some different design choices that I'm really excited about. The first one I did here was this snowflake. And I just took our snowflake stencil here from Studio R12. And this is the, like, I think this is the medium size. I don't remember how large this one is, but this isn't the smallest one. You could use any of the sizes. But I liked this one because I liked how much filler was there and like little dots and stuff. And then I just kind of laid it around and about until it was nice and full. So what I would do if I was wrapping this in my own home is I would wrap the present first because then it saves me a little bit of time. And I, excuse me, I would stencil on top of it then, just like I did here. And I would do it all the way around, right? Keep it the same throughout. Also, I did some fun Christmas stars because who doesn't love Christmas stars, right? And I just want to point out that this is a family trend in my home. It's something we do with my stepson as well. So if you have kids in your home, you know, we love to have big present wrapping parties. Of course, we don't wrap his presents in front of him. But presents for my nieces and nephews and for grandparents and that he's giving to other people. We wrap all the presents together one night, you know, by the light of the Christmas tree. And then we sit around together and we paint and we draw and do all sorts of pretty stuff on our wrapping paper. And so I'm just excited to be showing this with you. So keep that in mind that this is super kid friendly, super family friendly. It's a great tradition in my house that we love and that if you haven't done before, I totally recommend trying. It's, it's a really sweet memory. Every year we do it, we just have a blast. Um, speaking of Christmas traditions, I'm curious what some Christmas traditions are in your home. Do you have a movie that you always watch together? Or do you start playing Christmas music all day long? What do you like to do as a family that's kind of a tradition for you? Um, also, I really hopped into this project and I forgot all about our giveaways. That's how excited I am today to be bringing this to you. I'm almost more excited about wrapping paper than I am about giveaways. And that's crazy because giveaways are the best part, right? And Christmas is a season of giving, so I have things to give for you today. If you're liking, commenting, and sharing on this video, you're going to be entered to win one of our three brush sets here. Now, these are just the key to stenciling success, I'm telling you, other than a good stencil. This is one of the main keys to stenciling success. So you're going to want to win one of these brushes. Again, that's a like, a comment, and a share will get you entered to win that. And then I also have a grand prize that we'll be announcing at the end of the video. So be sure you stay tuned. Again, to enter to win that one, it's the same thing. Like, comment, share. And while I'm commenting or while I'm talking, be sure you're commenting and telling us what your favorite Christmas traditions are in your home. Or maybe if this is something you might want to start in your home, if you, if you like the idea of this tradition, I'm telling you it's a good one. It's my favorite, I think, so far. Anyway, I did the Christmas star here and I used our embellishment stencil because randomized patterns are really hard to do just freehand. So that's what these stencils are really great for. Okay, and so I'm just kind of laying them on there. That one turned out really fun. Let's go here with this tree stencil. So we have a Christmas tree embellishment stencil that is like all kinds of different. Let's see, there's four different trees on here that you could choose from. And you could do this so many different ways. I was thinking more in my mind like rustic and more like that like the would go with the buffalo check. Like look how cute that would be. 
as a paired um, what am I trying to say? Like a paired gift set. So if you had a buffalo check wrapping paper and you printed some black um, Christmas trees on some brown paper and then wrapped them and you gave a little two set box, oh my gosh, they would be so pretty. It would be the prettiest wrapping paper there, I think. That's one that I really like to do. So I use the stencil that I used at home to do that and I just chose this tree right here. Now, if you were doing more whimsical Christmas or like something like that. There's lots of whimsical trees on here as well. Or if you wanted to just do a, all of them, you could lay them and just do it that way. But the way I did it here was I laid, let's find where I started, like this. So I picked a place, I laid it like that. Then I came down to this one and it's not gonna line up perfect all around the tree because it's a mirrored image, but the stump is the same. So I just lined the stump up that's fun to paint this one here and then again I did the same thing just back and forth that kind of way just that way I had the even spacing all around so that's how easy that one was and then the final one I did this one is one that I was like this is so kid friendly it's like bubbles you could do the bubbles on the background and then do like a unicorn over top of it or something so fun um, one year my husband drew just like a simple cat face on, on top of a stencil like this for my niece and she was obsessed with it. She was like two or three at the time. She was beyond excited about her cat present. It was fun. So anyway, we just laid this randomized circle stencil on here. And after I did it in white, I was kicking myself because it was like missed opportunity for Christmas bulbs, <sighs> right? We could have done these all sorts of wild colors and it would have been so much fun. I missed the boat, but white is still so cute and it's classic. The brown and white is just still so trendy. So it totally worked out, but I do, I would say if I were gonna do this one again, I'd probably give you lots of color here. Okay, so that, is, those are just a few options for some things I did just today while I was kind of prepping um, for this video. And then I have a bunch of more exciting stuff coming for you. We're gonna work on this one together and I'm really excited about it. Okay, so. I have designed this project in my head using a couple of our stencils here. Okay, I also have, I'm burring into you, these new surfaces coming at you from Studio R12. These are Christmas tags, right? They're made of the MDF. I base coated just on one side. If I were doing these at home, I'd probably base coat both sides so I could paint both sides. But we have these Christmas tags. So you can get these on our website and they should be linked in a description or in a comment there. There should be a link that Noelle usually pins. Say hi to Noelle if you're on. Um, that she usually pins to there, the comments, and it has all of, <laughs> I'm rambling. Let's start that again. Woo! Noelle is really great at her job and she always remembers to pin a link in our comments to all the tools and things I'm using here today that are available on our website. These tags are a new item for us on Studio R12 and we're selling them this year and they're on that link. So if you'd like these for your Christmas gifts, be sure to check them out, okay? They are also reusable. So, you know, you could keep them every year with your kids' names on them, so fun. Or you could attach them to like um, one of the stockings, so cute. All right, um, before I hop into this, I wanna remind you if you're just hopping on, we're painting gift wrap today. Be sure to like, share, and comment on this video so you can be entered to win one of our three brush sets or our grand prize. I'm so excited. If you've won a grand prize, if you've been watching Studio R12 for a while, if you've won a prize, either a brush set or a grand prize, I'm so happy for you. Let us know that you've won before. That's exciting. That way people know that, you know, someone really is winning. That's always great. Okay, I'm ready to get started. I have paint on my eyelash, I can see it. Okay, so. I have one of our plaid stencils from Studio R12. I love plaid. I'm super guilty of only using the Buffalo Check plaid here when I paint projects, but we have so many plaid options on Studio R12. Um, and this is one of them and I saw it and I just was struck with inspiration. So I am going to leave a block in the center of my board here. So what I did, to kind of come up with this square, I'm gonna take it off and do it again. It's I took my T-square and I measured out, I think this is a, yeah, this is a four by four. 
here. It looks like it's not perfect, but perfectly straight, but that's okay. So I measured out a four by four square and I just cut it out of some extra cardboard I had laying around. And then I took this double stick adjustable tape. Again, this is available on our website as well. Oop. I'm just gonna layer it on there. Going nice and slow, if you go fast, it can kinda, it's like tearing the tape. So go nice and slow. I'm just gonna eyeball for the center of my box. So cute. And then I'm gonna lay my stencil on here and I'm gonna tape it down. And I'm just gonna tape one end of it because I should have pretty good control with it in theory. <laughs> Okay guys, while I'm here, this is a good opportunity while I'm not talking a whole lot. It's a good opportunity to like, comment, and share this video. Also, I wanna remind you that we have a YouTube channel, we have an Instagram, we have a Pinterest page, and if you're checking this out on YouTube, we have a Facebook as well. So be sure you check us out, we're Studio R12 Stencils, and we just love bringing content to you on all of our social media platforms, because we know that's where you guys are. It's where we can meet you, right? So we love to meet you where you are on social media. So be sure to check us out. All right, so I'm gonna take some white paint here. And this, um, when I'm painting on paper, or painting like this, something simple like this, it's a back to basics, right? So we're just remembering our basic stencil techniques. For that, you're gonna need your dome brush, you're gonna need your paper towel, and just a little bit of paint here, okay? Because the one thing you don't wanna do is have a beautiful design in your head for your wrapping paper and then end up with bleeding all over the place. That is no good. So, I'm gonna just swirl here. Now these are lines. So this is a really good place if you're a stippler. This is a stencil that's great for you. You can definitely have success stippling a stencil like this. But because it's such a tight pattern, I'm not having a lot of, I'm not having movement of the lines of the stencil. So I'm not too concerned as a swirler about success here. It's gonna turn out great either way. Loading just a little bit more paint. Really working my brush off. It's hard to see how much I'm working it off because of white on white. There, white paint on my white paper towel. But that's okay. Right. Okay, so while we're here, I'm also really kind of curious because it's all about Christmas right now, guys. This has been a hard year, I think, for a lot of people. So Christmas is one of those times that I think it just really livens my spirit. And so I hope you're having the same experience. Um, but I'm interested to know what Christmas movie is your favorite? My favorite is White Christmas with Bing Crosby. I love that one. I love the song they sing in the train about snow. It's like definitely one of my favorite weather too. Do you live somewhere where there's snow? I'm so excited. If you have snow, I'm jealous. We love snow. And if you want to see something really cool, I'm just going to take a minute and plug something cool here for you. Um, in our intro, there's like this picture of a bandstand and it says Gal Police Ohio and all that stuff, right? My town is so cool here. Here in Gal Police, we get really fun at Christmas, and they do this big Christmas light show. It's like a big deal. Um, they were voted like one of the best light shows in Ohio a couple of years ago, I think. It's so pretty. So if you live close, this might be a fun time to come down here to Gal Police, Ohio, and check out some Christmas lights, or check it out online. 
Usually, I think there are pictures of it you can find online. It's so cute. Does your town, or do you at your house, do you do any cool Christmas lights? Are you a big Christmas decorator? I'm, I'm curious. And, you know, if you're commenting to tell us about what you like to decorate for Christmas, you might as well like and share because that gets you entered to win our giveaways for today. Make sure I'm lining up right. Okay. So cute. Have you, I also wanna know, have you ever made your own wrapping paper? Have you ever done this? And I know some people print their wrapping paper before they wrap their present. I do not. That doesn't mean that this is the only way to do it. I just don't. If you do, let us know. Or if you've done this before, let us know. We love to hear from you guys. Pretty much about anything and everything. Again, and if you're commenting, I think I've mentioned her a couple of times now, but there is someone live in the studio answering questions and talking to you online as you, you communicate with us. Um, her name is Noelle. Be sure you say hi to Noelle. And if you guys are really interactive, sometimes Patty even hops on. So be sure you're really blowing up our social media here so Patty and Noelle both can talk to you. Say hey. Um, and if you've watched before, what has been your your favorite giveaway. If you didn't win it, what was the one you wished that you really won, that you saw and you were like, oh my gosh, I need that. I wish I would have gotten it, all of them maybe. Mine is always all of them. But I'm wondering, what's one that you guys, that really stood out to you if you have watched before? If you have not watched before, all of the old ones are posted on YouTube so you can check them out. Or, oh, that's turning out so cute. Or, Sorry, I'll finish my thought. Or tell us in the comments what you know, you've know you liked that we have given away in the past. I can't remember what I was saying now. Let's line this up right. <laughs> Why is this being silly? Hold on. Because it's upside down, right? Tell me that's right. There we go. All right, I just had to get it twisted the right way. My hatch lines were all out of whack. Okay. It's one thing to pay really close attention to when you are doing a project like this and watching your lines and making sure everything's lined up right. being funny hang on I'm probably missing something here you have to get the pattern right as well so the double line the double block should be over here okay okay got it that only took 10 minutes <laughs> sorry Okay, and we were talking about giveaways. If you watched before, what was your favorite giveaway in the past that we have given here on Studio R12? If you have not watched before, and this is your first time watching a Studio R12 Live, welcome, welcome, welcome. We do give away at least four items every time we're on here on lives because we, we give away the brush sets and then we usually have a grand prize as well. That is really exciting to me. So be sure you come back next week. 
as well. So you can be inner twin next week too. And then you can check out all of the old lives on our YouTube channel. Okay. So exciting. Christmas movies. Ooh, Christmas music. That's another thing that I'd love to talk about. Christmas time. Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Or, oh, I know what a sweeter one is. If you haven't commented yet, tell us what your favorite Christmas memory is. What is your absolute favorite memory of Christmas? Okay. Woo! Got it. That was just funny for a second. Now, I'm going to take this up. Left a little bit of that tape behind, so I'm gonna just rub that tape off. Okay, now bear with me for this design. <laughs> okay, tape down that way. This is just painter's tape, so it shouldn't rip my paper. Exciting. Okay, so if you've been watching this, are you coming close to being convinced that you might do your own wrapping paper this year? If you have never tried this before, it's fun. I'm telling you, it's it's super fun to do. A, you kind of feel like a designer because you get to kind of plan and do all sorts of things like that. It's it's fun that way. Um. And then I, I told you my family loves to do this together. So it's, it's a fun family tradition for us. We just love. Okay, and I'm just feathering in some white. I'm not going to try and make it too stark white because I don't want to wet my paper of course and make it warpy and all that wildness. I'm just going to give it a nice light coat here and I am swirling around my edges so that I get the edges nice and crisp. Okay, so cute. All right, I'm going to throw that in the water and while this dries I'm going to go and show you our Christmas tags that I was talking about. And I'm going to show you this cool set of stencils. We have on Studio R12. These are, again, these are a set. So, and it includes this one as well. When you buy these on Studio R12, you're going to get a pack of stencils that look like this. We actually gave one of these packs away. This was a giveaway. Um, I don't know. This was a giveaway. I don't know when it was, but it was a giveaway. So you have all kinds of cute stencils here. This is of course Christmas tree farms with the trees here. I'm gonna use this one with this project here. Then I have the old fashioned hot cocoa. This would be so cute on like on a piece of wrapping paper. But then we have the sleigh rides and I wanna show you something here. The sled fits on the tag. This reindeer, which I'm gonna to use today, fits on the tag. He also fits this way. Our little red truck fits on the tag. And even this Santa face fits on the tag. So buying this set of stencils gives you one, two, three, four, five, six stencils here. And I'm not sure how I would use this one. If you have any ideas for hot cocoa on a tag, tell me but it gives you at least five options of how you can dress up these tags on one side. And then also in the set of this stencil set, sorry, I almost forgot the most important part, you're gonna get alphabet stencil and letter number stencil here, right? Is there a number? Yep, numbers on this one. You can put the name on the back side, or you can pair it with both, which is what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do, 
my husband's name. And I'm gonna use one of our smaller brushes because I'm kind of in tight quarters here. And I'm gonna go on, I wanna do it on a black tag because I think that will be really cute with this. Yeah, okay. And I'm just gonna come right below the center dot here. And my paper towel blew away, so I'll need a new one. So, and you know, these are really easy to eyeball. They just line up kind of nice, I think. And then I'm gonna stick this so cute reindeer right here underneath. And I'm actually gonna move, I'm gonna move the reindeer over to the side. Normally I would prefer it centered, but Chris took up, maybe if I flip him around because it doesn't matter. Yeah, he looks better flipped around, I think. It's not bothering me so much. Okay. A little bit of paint. I'm just gonna dust on him here. And then, this is kind of rustic, so you know what I'm gonna do to jazz it up. I'm gonna go into my handy dandy paint drawer. This paint is brand new. And in case you were wondering where we get our paint, that's a question we get a lot here at Studio R12, um, or what kind of paint I'm using. This is just bulk paint that we buy. Um, you can use just about any paint from your craft store. I do recommend a high quality paint, something that's not too thin, because that really helps. And I'm gonna make him a little Rudolph. How cute is that? Okay. This should be dry ready to go. I'm going to put my tag aside. I also recommend if you're doing wrapping paper to buy quality tape. <laughs> I just picked up some some tape from like the dollar store. Not that I'm trying to hurt the dollar store's feelings, but and it's not really doing the job. Okay, so I'm going to have to be careful with this tape because I'm pulling up some of my paper here trying to do it too fast. Nice and slow. And because I've had a tear here, I'm going to come from this direction now so I don't make it worse. There we go. And paint that back down. Okay, yes, quality tape. <laughs> it's key. Okay. So, what we can do is we can fix that white if we want. And we do. We're perfectionists. And I'm just using the paint to kind of tack it back down. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to take this Christmas tree with these little trees here at the bottom. Okay. And I don't want any tree hanging off on my brown. So you see that little bit, teeny tiny little bit of tree right there that's hanging off this corner. I'm gonna tape over him, this little sleeve there. And I'm gonna tape over right there on that line, okay. Put my brush in the water. And I'm gonna go for some dark trees. Now I had some greens here because I hadn't decided. I don't know. What do you think? Black or green? I'm going to go green. Let's go green. 
Let's do it. It's Christmas. We need a little color in our lives. Tell us what you tell me what you would have done. Tell Noelle in the comments so she can tell me later. What you would have done. Would you have used the black and white? Would you have gone green? What would you do? I always like to hear ideas from you guys. You have such good ideas. Love to hear them. Okay, and look how cute. Need a little mistake right there, but paint is your best eraser. I should have kept that little paintbrush out so I didn't have to dirty so many. That's okay, so I'm just gonna buff over that. Look how cute. And you only have to paint one side, I think. I don't think I would want too much more. I'd probably go over right there because it got a little didn't get really good close, but that's okay. And his nose probably isn't dry, so I'll have to be kind of careful. But now I'm gonna take this jute. Let's go here like this. Quality tape, I'm telling ya. Okay. Let's go a lot more. needed just a little bit more but that's okay I'm wrapping my present just a little bit okay so here we go and cut that sometimes I like the like lots and lots of jute wrapped look like lots and lots of layers of it so i might like if i were feeling wild i'd probably add three strands here and three strands here like long ways but just for today that's how i do that first one just so i could get an idea of where they both go so i could hang my tag okay go here and I'm gonna take this jute that's thinner go underneath and do so I did like one of those little loops <laughs> I'm just gonna thread it through right here you know what I don't know why I'm doing both pieces Let's do two knots. Couldn't decide if I liked the bow or the knot. I think the knot looked as cute. Cut off my excess. And then I'm gonna try and unbraid these. Cause I'm going for kind of that rustic look. Like kind of modern rustic though, not like, not too. Okay guys, and there's our completed project. I am actually in love with how this turned out. If you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, give us some love, the hearts make them go, right? We love to see that. Um, and I just want to remind you that we had some giveaways coming today. So I'm going to give you I'm gonna count to five in my head to like, share, and comment really quick so you can be entered one last time. Noelle should be announcing the winners of our brushes in the comments very soon. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what our grand prize winner will be getting. A stencil set. I love when we give away sets, so exciting. You get so much bang for your buck when you buy the stencil sets, especially when you win the stencil sets, right? But when you buy the stencil sets from Studio R12, you just get, I think you get so much bang for your buck. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these, unwrap them, so we can see all of the pretty things that are coming from Studio R12 in this set. So, ooh, these are all like, this is the kitchen, Christmas kitchen theme stencils. 
It's a marshmallow world in the winter. It's my favorite. Love it. Cute. We whisk you a Merry Christmas. I love that. And your third one here says baking sweet memories. Oh, I love that. Those are all so cute with that little gingerbread man. I bet he fits on the tag too. He does. Okay, guys, so we'll be sure to announce that winner. Also, if you're watching in our recast, you can still be entered to win these giveaways as well. So be sure you're doing that like, comment, share, so you can be entered to win. And we'll see you guys soon. Have a happy holidays.